Hey, welcome to Android University. My name is Hobart, and today I wanted to show you how to install the CM9 boot menu uh, by Wizard on your Android phone. Now, I have a Droid X, and depending on which ROM you're on is determining which one you're actually going to download. The one I'm going to be using is the one for CM9. There's also one for MIUI, and there's a few others that he's made. Uh, but these are all flashable zips. It's really easy. Now, the boot menu is pretty cool because it will allow you to overclock and underclock uh, your device. You can also change the V cells, which is the voltage going to each one of the uh, different CPUs. Uh, you can do that, which will actually help you save some battery life. And it's also kind of, in a way, a little bit of a safety net. Some say it is, some say it isn't. Um, but basically, if you do something wrong in your phone and you're going to boot loop, which means you get stuck at the logo and it will go no further, uh, this can actually help because it's it allows you to get into the boot menu before it gets to the point where it will stick in boot loop. So I'll, I'll explain a little bit more, but there's a blue light that when you see that, uh, you're going to hit the volume down button, and that is what's going to get you into the boot menu before it sticks, which you can then wipe data factory reset, wipe cache, and uh, hopefully restore an Android and get yourself back running again without having to SBF. So let me show you quickly how to get into it. Uh, however you get into recovery is how you want to get into recovery. I'm running CM9 ice cream sandwich right now, so this is what it looks like for me. I'm going to reboot into recovery. Now you'll see the little blue light over in this area here go on. That's the blue light you're looking for. I'm not going to hit it now because I'm going to show you how to install it. But when you see the blue light, that's the one I'm talking about where you hit volume down right there. I would hit volume down on my phone and I would get into the boot menu. Now this is before it would get to the point of boot looping so it can save you some times. Alright, so I'm in Clockwork Mod Recovery now. You do not need to wipe anything. There's no cache wipes, nothing. You literally can go right down and install it. So I've got it on my SD card. So you go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card which is the top option there and select that. Now you're going to go to where you downloaded it. In most cases it'll be in your download folder right there but I've actually put it in a separate folder that I made called ROMs and stuff um, and there it is the hijacked boot menu. I'll go up one so the highlight isn't stopping it. There it is. You see it right below the highlighted hijacked boot menu CM9. You'll click on that. You go to install and hit OK. Now I've already done that so I don't need to but uh, once that's done you just reboot. When you see the blue LED light, you're going to hit volume down. And there it is. Now I'm in the Android boot menu. Wizards boot menu. Now here uh, is pretty cool. You can reboot from there. Continue boot. CPU settings. Now this is where you can go in and you can actually overclock and underclock your device. Uh, there's clock 1, 2, 3, and 4. Also V-cell 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that actually changes the voltage going to each one, uh, which can actually save you some, uh, some battery as well. All this stuff down here, I have no idea what it means, and a lot of people still can't tell me. It might be a little bit too complicated for the average person. Uh, but you can back up and restore your settings, save your settings, and go back. Also, it'll get you into recovery. Now, this is where it's going to help you out if you uh, are boot looping and you want to get into the boot menu to try to wipe it out and restore an Android. That right there will get you into recovery. So it's kind of a backdoor into recovery where you would not be able to get into it. you got different tools here. Uh, you can actually share your data share your drivers and uh, USB. you got different fixes for Wi-Fi, for recovery. If your recovery is broken, you can fix your recovery from here. Fix Wi-Fi. You can change your multi-touch, your screen from 2 to 6 to 8 points. So it's a very, very handy program that allows you to do some pretty cool things. So uh, I'm going to continue with my boot here and boot it back up. That is basically how to install the CM9 boot menu. I'll put the link to where you can download the zip file in my description. And there's the Cyanogen Mod 9 boot animation. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and a like if you like my videos and check out some of my other tutorials. This is Android University, the installation of the CM9 boot menu by Wizard. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Hobart. Have a great day.